The title of today's lecture is The Nuremberg Theory of the Magnetic Self, Money, Love, and Power. We all know that we meet certain people and right away we don't like them. And we don't even know why. We meet somebody else and right away we're drawn to them. And sometimes that first impression will change and often it doesn't. Why is that? Is it the smile, the face, the eyes, the voice? What is that? In reality, it's a mystery. And it always has been, always will. We're just drawn to some people, right off. You even just see them across the room, there's a, there's, you're drawn. You see somebody else, you say, I don't want to be around that person. That which immediately attracts us to a given person are the magnetic cells. Notice I use the word cells and not self because you are, because you are drawn to that person, not only because of who he or she is, but because of also who you are. Magnetism is a relationship. Someone else may not be drawn. Someone else may, in fact, be repelled. Might be somebody said, yeah, I like that person. And you could talk to one of your friends and say, no, I didn't like them. It was just, you felt that way. There was a magnetic aspect there, so it's the magnetic self. Something in you was drawn there. Somebody else might have been repelled. The ultimate of being immediately drawn to somebody is captured by the phenomena of love at first sight. Look at somebody and boom, love at first sight. We've, heard, we've all heard that phenomenon. And there are common sayings that capture this phenomenon of attraction. Birds of a feather flock together, each to his own kind, stay with your own. And I'm sure each culture and language has its own expressions that capture the, that same concept. There are some people that almost everyone likes when they first meet them. The magnetic self of that person is universal. Thus we have the universal magnetic self. And we're going to talk a lot about that. And in doing that, we need to look at what is really a magnet, a physical magnet. We don't really know what it is. We do know it creates magnetic fields. We know it is energy. It can be converted to electricity. We know magnets attract metals but not other substances such as plastic or wood. We know there are two poles, south and north. The south attracts the north and repels the south. The north attracts the south and repels the north. And so it is with people, attracted or repelled by some and indifferent to others. What is attraction? It is two substances or people being drawn to each other, coming closer together physically and or emotionally and spiritually. When north and south pole of two magnets come in contact, it takes effort to separate them. When people are attracted to each other, they don't want to part, and they look forward to seeing each other again. And when apart, they think about one another. So this is all part of the magnetic self. We're going to go into the dynamics of this and really come to a deeper understanding. When two people are strongly drawn to each other, it is said there is an electricity between them. This can be a romantic or a non-romantic attraction at times is instantaneously, immediately there upon first meeting. We've all seen that, it's just boom, and it stays there. This attraction can also strengthen over time. Can this happen with physical magnets? Yes. If a piece of a non-magnetic metal is put with a magnet, over time it becomes magnetized. And then later you put it together with a magnet, the attraction is enhanced because of the fact it became mag magnetized. It should be further noted that magnets can also be used to reduce pain and accelerate healing. We know this. And so can the magnetic self. When we are sick, if we are visited by someone with a powerful magnetic self, it can speed our recovery. We all know that uh, illness is highly contagious, but also the magnetic qualities also have a healing power, the power of love. We could also, there's a healing. It's not as powerful as the viruses and bacteria, but Healing can also be spread. Health from one person can be given to another as well. Now, there are 15 variables which increase the power of the magnetic self. And, you know, if I, was, if I would have given this lecture yesterday, there would have been 12. And if I was to give it a, a month from now, it could be 20. So it's, it's, not a, it's not a complete system. It keeps growing, unfolding itself.
as the inspirations and understandings are given to me, then I bring it to you.